Mama Llama AG, and every day is a good day when you get a dolly package in the mail, which obviously, as you can see, probably indicates that there's a doll in here somewhere. So, let's get started. This is the current catalog. I think I already have one of these in the mail, or from the mail, and the back. I am loving this whole entire setup, this whole entire set. Love the outfit, love the vote, especially um, with our VP pick. Um, so excited for her and Miss Senator Kamala Harris. And da -da -da. first we have this adorable pajama set. I loved this the second it came out. I think it's absolutely adorable. It has one top, one pair of shorts, a pair of slippers. Really, really adorable. And it's the Let's Sleep Over pajamas. And like everything, American Girl has this taped up. It's annoying. I hate it. It ruins the box. So, at least let's open this up. Cute, cute box. Love it. <gasps> oh, this is really cute. Okay. So, you have this bright pink tee with the screen print of gold. Pizza, popcorn, movies, besties. So cute. Very simple. Velcro back. But the reason I got this mostly was because of... Oh, how cute is this? Okay. It's because of the shorts and the slippers. These little shorts, I mean, look how cute they are. Beautiful bow, little blue teal bow. And you have popsicles, you have donuts, you have lollipops, ice cream, cookies, french fries, ice cream sandwiches, popcorn, all kinds of things. And it has the American Girl little tag on there. Loving that. And of course, have to cut off this ridiculous tag. Should have been prepared with scissors, but I'm not. But these little sling back fuzzy slippers with the donuts on them. I mean, how cute. The little teal aqua look. These are so adorbs. Oops. Um, so, so cute. Love that. And maybe this is something new they're doing. I don't know. Whatever it is, I love it. What's your friendship future? Play this fun game with your BFF at your next sleepover. And this came in the box with the pajama set. I love this. And then inside, well, it has a little picture. And these are like the little books of old Pleasant Company where they had books with the outfits that came. This is just cute. Really, really appreciate that. I think it's adorable. Next, we have, that goes along with it, the du oh, Double the Fun Sleepover Set. And this contains one hooded blanket, one plate, um, one dose card game, one mini quiz book, four cookies, four glasses of strawberry milk, and two pairs of socks. How cute is this little number? I love it. I got it mostly for the little hoodie blanket, but I don't do too much with AG food, but and this, of course, is how it comes. And when you open it, oh my gosh, that hooded blanket is so sweet. It's incredibly soft, by the way. It has more of like a Sherpa um, inside, soft Sherpa inside, and then the screen print on the back in that aqua color that goes perfectly with the pajama shorts. So definitely, if you get those pajamas, you absolutely must get this set with it and vice versa. If you get this set, you have to have the pajamas. This comes with two pairs of socks, of course, with the besties. And I'm wondering, this may not mean a single thing, but I wonder if they're ever going to bring back the 
my best friends collection or the friends collection with the historicals because this is really cute. Anyway, this one has <laughs> the pink has the cookies and milk socks and then the bottom says best friends and then the other one oh <laughs> peanut butter and jelly and then of course it has best friends on the bottom that's really adorable love that and then get stuff out of here oh this is cool this or that quiz book very cute has like little games and quizzes in there. Oh, keep it into the same thing. Um, so that's really cute, really sweet. And oh, this is so cute. Okay. So the pink plate, it says we go together like milk and cookies. That's adorable. And then you have. These cookies, they seem ginormous, but you get four chocolate chip cookies, and they're all individual, okay? And this also comes with that same little booklet. It's really cute. And then you get the dose card games with little how-to play really sweet I don't have any AG games like this so this is a first for me which I think is fantastic and you get the cards and these are individual okay they're just taped together for now and there's Two separate stacks in the one container, one dose container, and then you get these adorable other, oh, okay, individually wrapped, I already told them, adorable strawberry milk cups. These are wicked cute. Wicked cute. I don't really say super a lot because the word super is so annoying. Everybody uses it as if they don't have any other words in their vocabulary. Anyway, these are so cute. See, so, I didn't say super. Yum, yum. That's adorable. Oh my word, okay. So that's just fantastic. And now we're gonna get to the big item in here, yay. Okay, so this doll is um, one that I was trying to decide if I wanted to do uh, Create Your Own or one of the newer um, Truly Me dolls that came out um, or this one in particular because I, when I was growing up and this doll is going to be made into a Claudia Kishi doll from the Babysitter's Club because when I was growing up I read the Babysitter's Club books all the time, and Claudia was always my favorite. And I was so excited when Netflix came out with that little mini series they did. And I hear that a season two is in the works, which I hope is accurate. Um, so I could not, could not wait until I got a chance to choose this doll. And I picked Truly Me. 64. I am so excited about her. I'm going to go ahead and open her up. Four has the Ivy face mold, not the Jess face mold, and I consider those to be two different face molds because she has more definition at her eyes, which I really, really love. And she has the newest Truly Me outfit. And I didn't get the accessories this time, although I might. And she is the first doll that I ever got ears pierced for specifically. And you have to because Claudia has her ears pierced. And she has all those wonderful, funky, and fun earrings. 
So it came with a set of six, uh, four, not six, four earrings. So we have that. So now let's get her taken out of the box. And then this one, we'll see how much I can do this on screen. I may not be able to do all of it, who knows. They used to have these really easy rubber bands and now they do really weird things with the dolls, the way that they package them. I think her arm is almost free. Now let's check the legs. Here she is, out of her box. I'm so excited. I am so happy. Um, she's gorgeous. So she looks a lot like um, Z Yang, but without the mole on her face. I couldn't get a hold of a Z Yang at a reasonable price. So I did get her. So her name is going to be Claudia Aoki Kishi. Ayoko? I forget. A-I-K-O. I think Ayoko. And her shoes. I hate these shoes. They were with the last meat outfit. They're just plastic and cheap. Not my favorite. But I'm digging this jacket. This fuchsia, beautiful, awesome bomber jacket with the glitter here at the top. Cute little zip. And this dress gives me total, total 80s vibes. So I love this and her cute little blue earrings are very sweet. She has brown eyes, feathered eyebrows, and I'm thinking of re-wigging her. I don't know if this hair is going to actually work with the character that I am creating. So we shall see. All right. Where is the end of the wig? There we go. There we go. So she has I think it's black hair. And it's only straight. So I probably will rewig her. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, it's lovely. Okay. So here she is. The wig cap is off, or the hairnet, whatever, is off. And she has like medium length hair, so it's just beyond her shoulders. And so the reason why, you know, it's probably going to be very difficult to put her hair, maybe difficult to put her hair in a proper bun. I don't know. We'll see. If I can't put it in a proper bun, then I'm changing it. Um, but I'm going to stop and brush her hair. So pretty. So I'm going to play around with it, see if I can make it work. If I can't make it work, then I'm going to be getting her a new wig. And it will probably be more black than this black brown look and we'll probably have some loose curls in it if I can find one um, to go along with the character a little bit better in the Netflix series. But anyway, always a good day when you get Dolly Mail. Um, so again, this is Claudia Ayoko Kishi. And she is gorgeous. I do not have this face mold in my collection. So I am extremely excited to have this face mold and a reason why. I always like to have a reason why I get dolls that I get, um, face molds that I get, and um, just the collection that I have. I'll probably do an all my dolls video since things have changed um, in my collection. Once I get Joss back, that is getting... Um, an eye swap and freckles. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching.